Don Rickles is widely accepted as being one of the most gifted comedians in history. His career spanned an impressive 62 years, from 1955 to 2017. He was particularly revered for his work in insult comedy as a stand-up comedian, but he also worked as an actor and an author. Don Rickles was born May 8, 1926, in Queens, to parents Max and Etta Rickles. After high school, he enlisted in the Army and served in World War II. He was honorably discharged in 1946. At first, Rickles aspired to be a dramatic actor and studied at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. For a while, he managed to scrape together a few parts on TV but never landed any major ones. Rickles grew more and more upset with his lack of success in acting. Realizing he may not have what it takes to be a dramatic actor, he began performing as a stand-up comic. Most comedians learn to ignore their hecklers, but Don Rickles had a more direct approach. He responded to and humiliated his hecklers, earning him the reputation of being an insult comedian. In fact, at one point in his career, he even managed to roast the legendary Frank Sinatra himself. Before long, audiences couldn't get enough. People all over the country realized Don was a comedian with guts. Don Rickles also saw a fair share of tragedies throughout his life. He eventually lost his life in 2017, which left his wife of many decades, Barbara Rickles, devastated. More recently, Barbara also died. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the life and legacy of Don Rickles, as well as the tragic death of both himself and his wife. Stick around because we're also going to look at how the couple dealt with a devastating and unexpected loss together. Don and Barbara Rickles' Beautiful Love Story Many celebrities are notorious for marrying and divorcing several people, often due to affairs and various other drama. For Don Rickles, however, monogamy was extremely important. For a long time, he attempted to find someone who he could spend the rest of his life with. When he was 38 years old, he still hadn't found anyone. Then, his agent hooked him up with a beautiful woman named Barbara Sklar. The two got to know each other, but Barbara didn't quite understand his sense of humor. That's when Don knew he had fallen in love. The two married on March 14, 1965, and stayed together for 52 years, until Don's death. They had a long and happy marriage, as well as two beautiful children. The Tragic Death of Their Son Together, they had two children, Mindy and Larry. They were quite proud of their children, and Larry even went on to become a producer and screenwriter. He won an Emmy Award for his work on a documentary about his father titled Mr. Warmth, The Don Rickles Project. On December 3, 2011, however, tragedy struck. Larry Rickles was stricken with pneumonia and hospitalized. He passed away surrounded by his family and loved ones. Don, Barbara, and their daughter Mindy were all devastated. Larry was a successful young man who had a bright future ahead of him and died too young at age 41. How Don Rickles Narrowly Avoided Death In the 70s, Rickles became friends with the infamous mobster Crazy Joe Gallo. One night, Crazy Joe attended his set, and he was warned by many others not to poke fun at him. Don Rickles, however, was never one to shy away from danger, and decided to mercilessly roast the mobster during his performance. Joe Gallo actually loved the ribbing, and the two sparked a friendship. Gallo invited him to a restaurant called Umberto's Clam House, but Rickles politely said no. It's a good thing he did, because that very night, there was a shooting at the Clam House, and Joe Gallo was killed. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like, and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already, and stick around to find out how Barbara was able to cope with the loss of her husband. He had a lot of high-profile friends. You'd think an insult comedian would have a difficult time making and maintaining friendships, but Don's warm personality actually meant he had lots of friends, including many celebrities. Early in his career, Rickles became friends with Frank Sinatra, and the two even performed together at Ronald Reagan's inauguration. Despite being a Democrat all of his life, Rickles still considered that performance his crowning achievement. Rickles also considered Bob Newhart his best friend. The two spent a lot of time together, and their wives were also close friends with one another. Even though Rickles was merciless when it came to insulting people, it was done in good faith. In fact, he seemed to inspire friendliness and warmth wherever he went, not in spite of, but because of his frequent teasing. After his death, the world stopped for a moment to grieve the loss of such a warm and bright person. Don Rickles' Death Rickles lived a long and rich life. 
While he struggled to find work as an actor at first, he eventually found fame and success as a stand-up. He made many close friendships along the way and had a beautiful family. He inspired comedians all around the world with his signature style, as well as his bold tendency to roast anyone who crossed his path. He continued to work as an actor and comedian right up until the year he died. On April 6, 2017, Don Rickles died of kidney failure in Beverly Hills. He was 90 years old. While he lived a long life, people all over the world were devastated to hear the news. Many notable people, including Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, Seth Meyers, and Jim Carrey, all took a moment to pay their respects to the fallen legend. Even after his death, however, Don Rickles continues to be an icon and an inspiration to millions of people, particularly other comedians and actors. Barbara Rickles' Death Barbara Rickles had been lovingly married to Don for 52 years and was understandably devastated at the loss. However, she continued to persevere for several years until eventually dying on March 15, 2021, from complications from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She was 84, and she died on the same day that would have been her 56th anniversary with Don. Don Rickles often described Barbara as the light of his life and was an incredibly good sport due to her putting up with his constant teasing and poking. While he often made fun of her during performances, he assured the world that none of it was true and that he loved his dear wife more than anything else. The two were an inseparable pair, and the world mourns their loss. Don Rickles was an amazing comedian whose silly personality earned him the nickname Mr. Warmth. Despite his joyous nature, however, he suffered great personal tragedy throughout his life. Were you more saddened to learn about the tragic way Don lost his life or to hear about how Don and Barbara had to deal with the loss of their beloved son? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.